All right, perspective. And hindsight is always 2020. So let's take a moment to push out the perspective a little bit and discuss with ourselves eight months, nine months down the road. Where are you? And who is the person you are now? Are you happy with yourself? Now, I'm not talking to the person that it's just a new year, new me, and you're probably gonna peter out in the next month or two, and it's not gonna matter anyway. I'm talking to the person that has been doing this every year for the last five, six, ten years. I'm talking to the person that is tired of being 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds overweight or more. I'm talking to you because I'm also talking to myself. In eight or nine months, I'm getting married. And I've known about this for well over a year. <laughs> I have reached a point where I am thinking to myself, if I could write a letter to me, not to quote a Brad Paisley song or anything, but if I could write a letter to me and send it back in time to myself even a year ago, or even six months ago, what would that letter say? That, le that letter would say, get off your ass and just move. Your mental health will kick you in the butt multiple times. You will get downstairs, you will try to start your workout, and then for some reason, you will tell yourself that your body just doesn't want to do it. Or your body will tell you that this hurts. Or snap, crack, pop, rice, krispies. That squat is not for you. But the truth of the matter is you got to keep doing it. And I know I'm speaking to myself about this. It is almost seven o'clock in the morning and I probably should be getting ready for work, but I'm getting sick and tired of my mind not letting me do the things. And some of you will probably say, well, that's an excuse. Just get up off your butt. Stop looking in the mirror, stop looking at the scale, and just work out. But there's something to be said for your mental well-being, your mental health, and even your body saying no. But at the same time, you've been listening to your body for well over a year, well over two to five to 10 or even longer. You've been listening to your body say that, where has it gotten you? Where has listening to your body gotten, get, where, where has it gotten you? Now, if you are consistent for months or years and then your body says, okay, maybe it's not a day to work out then sure, listen to your body, take a rest day. Because rest days are important for those, of you, for those of you that can handle rest days, which I am a person that thrives on working out every single day, even if it's probably not good for my body. Wow, I'm stuffy for no reason. Um, but this letter to me would also say, you need to get off your butt and make things happen for you when it comes to your mental health and your physical health. Get out of bed earlier, work out, 
stay off of your workout bench because you're going to use it to just sit there, scroll on your phone. So get off of it. You need to do more than just a set of hammer curls and calf raises. Do some squats. Figure out a way to do some deadlifts with your dumbbells. And if this is a year ago, I would also say find a way to get more equipment. Prioritize it. Find a way to sell some of your stuff downstairs and find the money to get a barbell and plates because you are going to get bored of the equipment that you have and that's going to deter you from wanting to work out. What good is that? What good is you not being able to work out? I'll also say this. If I don't remember when it happened, but if you stop going to the gym and you use the one hour walk as an excuse to not get there, you're a lazy piece of shit. And you need to get up and just do the walk, do the workout, and then go home. Get off your ass. Because a year later, you wish you had that gym membership. You wish you could pay the debt that you have on it and go work out again. You wish that you did not fail. But what's the issue with wishing in the first place? The issue with wishing in the first place is that you're not taking action. What are you doing? Hmm? Get off your ass. Now, I don't believe that being verbally abusive to a client is any way of seeing success because look at drill sergeants and all that. Not all of your cadets are gonna conform to your way of thinking just because you're yelling at them. But if I was writing a letter to myself, a little aggressiveness is needed. And I know I keep saying to myself, well, the last time I was successful with the weight loss is when I was living with my friends. Your friends are not here to hold your hand, little, get, little girl. Your friends and your family are not here to hold your hand. Who's gonna be there if you're in the hospital? Yeah, they'll come to see you. They'll also go home at night. You'll be laying in that hospital bed wondering why you didn't take action on your life before. Where are your friends and your family now? The, the best time to start a workout routine was yesterday. The second best time is now. Get up and do it. Now, I am going to start and finish my coffee and get ready for work. But just a reminder to that guy a year ago, or the guy right now talking to this camera, and who is about to stand at the altar with his wife, or soon to be wife. Save the dates came in, by the way, for those of you that have been following. Um, but talking to him, what do you want to be when you're up on that stage? The man you wish you were or the man you wanted to be and achieved? Strive for your own personal greatness because you are worth it. Please like, subscribe, click all of the things. There's links down below if you want to support the channel. I love you guys and thank you.